Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to our Grade 3 Social Studies class with Mr. Grable. Today we're finishing up our Canadian symbols with totem poles. Totem poles by Sabrina Cruz. Sorry, Sabrina Cruz. And here's what's inside our table of contents. A symbol for Canada, making totem poles, clans and symbols, telling stories, and tall totem poles. A symbol for Canada. A symbol is a picture or a thing that stands for something important. Some First Peoples carve totem poles with their important symbols. Today, the totem pole is a symbol for Canada, too. This totem pole is outside a government building. Making totem poles. The western coast of Canada had plenty of food for First Peoples. They fished and found fruits and nuts. Because it was easy to find food, the people had time to make totem poles. <coughs> Excuse me. Canada's first totem poles were made on the western coast of British Columbia. Most totem poles are made from cedar trees. Cedar wood is good for carving and lasts a long time. Many totem poles are painted with bright colors after they are carved. A tall red cedar tree. Carving a totem pole and part of a paint part of a painted totem pole. Clans and symbols. Clans are groups within a nation. Clan members share the same stories. First peoples carved their clan symbols on totem poles. Totem comes from an Ojibwe word for family symbol. These members of the Niska nation are celebrating a new totem pole. Clans often have animals as their symbols. First Peoples carve many animals into their totem poles. You may see bears, wolves, fish, frogs, and birds. Some First People clans have the sea otter as their symbol. Telling stories. If you understand the symbols, you can read the totem pole story. The Thunderbird is one of the best known symbols on totem poles. It is not a real bird, but it appears in many legends. A Thunderbird has huge wings for making thunder. Totem poles can tell a story of a real event. They are also used to honor ancestors and celebrate clan members. Totem poles sometimes support buildings and form doorways. This totem pole is also a doorway.
all totem poles. When a totem pole is finished, it must be raised. The raising ceremony happens at a potlatch. The potlatch is a big feast. It takes many people to raise a tall totem pole. Raising a Niska's totem pole. Most totem poles are between 3 and 20 meters high. Some of them are even taller. Many of the world's tallest totem poles are in British Columbia. This totem pole in Alert Bay, British Columbia is more than 50 meters tall. Wow. That is tall. Totem poles, one of our Canadian symbols. I hope you enjoyed this book. Have a great day. Bye-bye.